Hello boys and girls, Miss Justine here with the Lindenhurst Memorial Library. Welcome to Storytime on Demand. Today I'm here to read you some stories and sing some songs. But first, I'm going to begin my story time with the Hello song. It's called Hello Hello by Super Simple Songs. If you're new to my story time, that's okay. You can just listen and try to follow along if you like. If you've been uh, to my story times before, you know my Hello song and I would love to hear you guys sing. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Hello, hello, can you clap your hands? Hello, hello, can you clap your hands? Can you stretch your thighs? Can you lay up high? Can you touch your toes? Can you touch your toes? Can you turn around? Turn around. Can you say hello? Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, can you stamp your feet? Hello, hello, can you stamp your feet? Can you stretch up high? Can you just way up high? Can you touch your toes? Can you touch your toes? Can you turn around? Turn around. Can you say hello? Hello. Hello, hello, can you clap your hands? Hello, hello, can you stamp your feet? Good job, everyone. Good job. I actually heard some people singing in this time. Great voices. You guys have excellent singing voices. So the first book I'm going to read to you today is called Plenty of Love. And this is written and illustrated by Emma Chick uh, Chickster Clark. And it's published by Nancy Pelosi Books. And I want to thank the publisher today for allowing us to read their story during our story time. I am Plum. The one and only special Plum. <laughs> Here's Plum, say hi Plum. <laughs> Emma and Rupert are my family and I just love them. When they say I'm their special one, I feel love all over. Sue and Gracie live next door. They are my best friends and I am their best one and only. But one day Gracie says, We've got a surprise for you, Plum. Ooh, a surprise for Plum, let's see. This is Binky, said Sam. He was holding a cat. Cats are not my favorite thing. He loves you, Plum. Don't you love him? asked Gracie. We love him, said Sam. Mm, I don't know if Plum likes Binky. I was so happy to go to the park. The park is just for dogs. I say, said my friend Esther, is that a cat with you? I couldn't believe it. Who's your new friend? asked Rocket. He's not my friend, I said. Well, he's following you, said Bean. Scat cat, I said. Uh oh. Don't think Plum likes Binky so much. When I got home, guess who was there? It's nice to have a cat around, said Emma. No, it isn't, it isn't. The cat followed me everywhere. Sniff where I sniffed, rolled where I rolled, peed where I peed, scratch where I scratched, and I couldn't get away. I went to hide in the shed but the cat followed me there too. When the door slammed shut, we were stuck. Meow, he said, and off he went. Cats, I said, now no one will ever find me. Oh, poor Plum. I think he was able to go underneath the door. But Plum is too big and now he's stuck. Oh no, but I was wrong. Don't um, about that because Binky came back with Sam and Gracie. Oh, that's exciting. <laughs> Silly Plum, said Gracie. Binky saved you, said Sam. They told Emma and Rupert, clever Binky, said Rupert. He's so clever, said Sam. He just a cat, 
nothing special about that. Oh, I think Pum's getting a little bit jealous. Oh, look at Binky, said Gracie as he ran up a tree. He could do anything, said Sam. It's just, it's true. It's really true, I thought. Aww. Now Binky was the special one. I thought he was a show-off, clever clogs cat. He's ruining everything, I told Esther. Have you tried being friends, asked Jackie. I can't be friends with the cat, I told Bean. What if they love him more than me, I asked Rocket. Oh, there's plenty of love to go around, he said. But I wasn't sure. Sam and Gracie were watching TV. The cat was outside. He came back when he saw me. So I pushed the door shut and leaned against the cat flap. Stop following me, I told him. Stay out till I say so. Oh, uh -uh, it's starting to rain. I guarded the door, then it started to rain. I couldn't leave him out in the rain, could I? But I was, but was there enough love to go around? Was there? Just then, Emma and Rupert came. They found little Binky, and then they saw me in the front of the cat flap. I looked at Emma, and she looked at me. She knew what I'd done. Uh-oh. Emma knows Plum wasn't very nice to Binky. Now, Plummy, Emma said, you will always be my special one, but you're going to have to be nice to the cat. There's room in our hearts for you, for him and for you. You've got a big heart, haven't you, Plummy, said Emma. And suddenly I can feel it growing. It grew bigger and bigger. I have a big heart. I do, I do. And now I know there's enough love for two. In fact, there's plenty of love to go around and around. Yes, there's plenty of love to go around. The end. That was a great story, right, everybody? Plum was a little bit jealous of Blink, uh, excuse me, Binky because he thought Binky was trying to take everything. But Emma explained to him that there's enough room in his heart, in her heart, in everybody's heart for all the love. And that's how, why we should always be kind to everybody and learn to share and know that there's room in our hearts for everyone around us. <laughs> so the next song we're going to sing together is called um, <clears throat> The Friendship Song. And it's a pretty old song. It's actually sung by Barney. Um, I haven't sang it in a while, so please excuse me if I'm a bit rusty. If you know the song, I would love to, for you guys to sing. Um, if you're new to it, it's okay. Just listen and you know, try to sing along. If you can't, it's okay too. So let's see. The Friendship Song by Barney. You ready? Friends are special, so important, they make the world go round. We like helping one another in school and on the playground. Friends are there to help each other when one is feeling sad. Being friends is very special, be a friend and you'll be glad. Friends are special, so important, they make the world go round. We like helping one another in school or on the playground. Friends are there to help each other when one is feeling sad. Being friends is very special, be a friend and you'll be glad. Being friends is very special, be a friend and you'll be glad. <laughs> Thank you guys, that was great. And I did hear some people singing, that was great. Thank you for joining me. It's a great song, right? And I hope that you're my friend, because I'm your friend. And when we're friends, we make each other happy and we share and it helps me when I'm sad. You guys make me happy. <laughs> so the next book um, I'd like to read to you today it's called I'll Love You Till the Cows Come Home. And this is written by Katrina Kristen 
illustrated by Krista Litton and published by HarperCollins. And I want to thank the publisher today for allowing us to read their story during our story time. I will love you till the cows come home. From a trip to Mars through skies unknown and a rocket ship made of glass and stone. I will love you till the cows come home. <laughs> I will love you till the yaks come back from a jaunt downtown from a grassy snack in a fire truck or a Cadillac. I will love you till the yaks come back. I will love you till the sheep set sail on a cruise ship bound for islands of kale past manatee and a humpback whale. I will love you to the sheep set sail. <laughs> Let me adjust a little bit so you guys can see the book better. There you go. <laughs> Pages, let's start. Let's see, oh my goodness, I can't wait to see what's next. <laughs> I will love you to the wolves return from a bumpy ride over rocks and fern. The pigs all shout with concern. I will love you to the wolves return. I will love you to the frogs ride past on a big wheel bike going super fast. And a circus for horse, uh, seahorses, shrimp, and bass. I will love you to the fro frogs ride past. I will love you to the deer dance by from a tap contest under the blue sky with a prize of clover and twig pot pie. I will love you to the deer dance by. I will love you to the geese flop down to a warm ski lodge in a snow town with gourmet uh, s'mores all chocolatey brown. I will love you to the geese flap down. I will love you to the ants march in wearing teeny ants hats and teeny ant grins and a birthday cake crumbs on their teeny ants chin. I will love you to the ants march in. I'll love you till then and again and again till love makes a bed full of cows in their bed and the yaks and the sheep and the wolves settle in and the frogs softly strum on their frogs violins and the deer and the geese and the ants close their eyes and the moon sparkles moon dust all over the sky i will love you till the cows come home come home I will love you till the cows come home. The end. Wasn't that a lovely story? Shows that no matter what happens, we'll always love you, right? That's a good story. <laughs> so the next song is called Skinnamarinkadink, and it is by a super simple song. And it's a bit, got a bit of a hand dance. So if you want to follow me, we'll sing it. Uh, excuse me. I will sing it once, and then we'll play it again, and you guys can sing it with me. Okay. You ready? Okay, so follow my hands, okay? Skin a rink a dink a dink Skin a rink a do I love you Skin a marink a dink a dink, skin a marink a do. I love you. I love you in the morning or in the afternoon. I love you in the evening and underneath the moon. Oh, skin a marink a dink a dink, skin a marink a do. I love you. <laughs> Are you ready to sing it? Ready? Skin a marink a dink a dink, skin a marink a do. I love you. Skin a marink a dink a dink, skin a marink a do. I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening and underneath the moon. Oh, skin a marink a dink a dink, skin a marink a do. I love you. <laughs> Good job, everyone. 
Good job. You guys joined in after I sang for the first time. That was really great. I loved it. Love the singing. I always like when you guys sing with me. Um, so the last story I'm going to read to you today is called What I Love About You. If you haven't guessed already by now, today's theme is all about love. <laughs> and that's because Valentine's Day is coming up. And it's a day to celebrate love, but it's always important to celebrate our loved ones every day. <laughs> so, what I love about you, and this is written and illustrated by Susan Farrington and published by Baltzer and Bray. And I want to thank the publisher today for allowing us to read our stories during our story time. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Do you know what I love? I love when you smile. <laughs> right before you sing, at the top of your lungs. <laughs> Do you know what I love? I love your creativity. Even when things get messy, oh boy. <laughs> Do you know what I love? I love when you hold my hand. And when you let go to make new friends. Do you know what I love? I love when you're kind. And when you're silly. And when you find me if you need help. Do you know what I love? I love when you stay up late to read stories. And when you get a good night's sleep. Do you know who I love? Who do they love? I love you. The end. <laughs> that was a good story, wasn't it? All the wonderful things that we love about each other. You might love a person's smile, <laughs> their laugh, their singing, their silliness. But we love that person so much with all our heart. <laughs> So the next uh, activity I have for you today, I'm going to bring something up here. I'm going to use my felt board, and we're going to spell a word. Okay, so I have an H, and I have an E, I have an A, oh, I think I might make a little more room, move over. Okay, so I have an H, an E, an A. R and a T. Okay. Right? H E A R T. And this spells heart. So we're going to sing a little song about the word heart. Okay. Um, I'll sing it one time, and then if you want, you can sing it to me. And if you know, it's to the melody of uh, bingo. So if you know bingo, you might know this song. Okay. There is a shape and it means love and heart is his name of H E A R T H E A R T H E A R T and heart is its name oh <laughs> Good job. Okay, so if everybody I'm going to sing it again and if you want you can sing along, okay? <laughs> There is a shape and it means love and heart is its name oh H-E-A-R-T 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 and heart is its name oh <laughs> Good job everybody. Thank you for joining me in singing. I had such a great time today. I'm a little sad though, it's that time again. My story time has ended. I feel like they go so quickly with you guys. I have so much fun. But before we um, end our story time today, I'm gonna sing our goodbye song, which is called Bye Bye Goodbye by Super Simple Songs. 
So if you'd like, you can join in and sing with me. If you don't want to, it's okay. Okay, so here we go. Thank you for joining me today. Hope to see you all soon. Bye.